Let's go on to question 12, where I have like more students making mistakes on this question. Uh, this question is on a more recent topic in P6 on living together. Uh, being able to count how many population of organisms are present in the habitat. So in this question, it shows us a diagram with a tree with different organisms living on it. We have the caterpillar, butterfly, ant, fungus, snail, and bird. Which of the following statements are correct? So if they choose the correct option, correct statements, option A, it says that there are five populations of organisms. So we can identify and count first. We have to recall that population is made up of a group of an organism of the same type. Keywords to define what is a population must be of the same kind, same species or same type of organism. At the same time, we should have more than one. Let's see how many we have. Caterpillar and butterfly, these two are of the same species, same kind, same type. So we should group them up together. So for most of my other students who get this question wrong, they count caterpillar as one population and butterfly as another. They see a different name, so they'll think that ah, yeah, they must be of a different, different type, different populations. We count them as two. But they are the same species, but at different stages. So it should be option one, uh, so it should be one population for here. And we have definitely more than one end shown in the picture here. It should give us the second population. But why is we have two birds? So definitely another population. Fungus and snail. Fungus, we have two shown in this picture here. Although they say the word fungus, it is uh, representing only one, but it's naming one of the living thing. But we have more than one fungi present. It gives us the next population, four. It is only for this snail. It's a one standalone snail. Maybe a visitor to this plant is not really uh, forming the population in this tree. So it is not a population. So A, answer is not true. There are not five, there are only four, which means option B is correct. Eliminating A, eliminating A, we have either three or four is the answer. Between three and four is whether we should choose C. So anyway, for option C, fungi form one population of plants. It sounds pretty plausible. Uh, fungus, they do form one population, but they are not plants. If you remember from the earlier question, plants and fungi, they are totally different types of living things. So C is not true. We eliminate C, C and then double check whether D is correct. So for all organisms and the tree, they form one community, it's correct. All different populations living in the same habitat. The habitat here is a single tree habitat. Living in the same habitat and depending on each other uh, for survival, D is correct. So the answer for this should be option 3.